boom page population man under the light of the silvery moon no under the light of the uh indoor grow lights trying to keep my plants alive through in the uh, through the winter okay so page population deities getting them out there into the cloud right okay so <sighs> this is a uh, from my teenage slash young 20s angst um portion of the arcade of my hippocampus memory all right i've been feeling down sitting round with my head hanging low trying to come to grips with the fact you won't be back around no more oh giving up is something you choose I don't want to lose you. Breaking up so very hard to do. You're turning my whole world to misty blue. Feeling down, sitting round, with my head hanging low. Trying to come to grips with the fact you won't be back around no more. Oh, giving up is something you choose. I don't want to lose you. Breaking up so very hard to do. You're turning my whole world to misty blue. Yeah, even at a young age, I tried to get in as much stuff as I can. We did Breaking Up was Hard to Do in Mr. Whitfield's class. I already gave him a shout out. Maybe one more shout out for Mr. Whitfield, but no more. No more. Uh, maybe more. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I know I was like, oh, yeah, Breaking Up so very hard to do. And then Misty Blue, you know, that's a whole other thing. Just trying to stay in the vibe. I've always been about, you know, tagging along. You know, they tag along like, oh, yeah, that concept, this concept. I think somehow... Me being the Aquarius that I am, born in a Libra Deacon, as I am born in a Libra Deacon, maybe parody law was a part of my brain before I even knew what parody law was. Like, nope, nope, you won't get me. Mm-mm, mm-mm. And I, uh, that's uh, something else, since I'm doing, like, explaining why these ditties come to me the way that they come to me. Um, with marketing and advertising being what it is, and how we're inundated by it, you know, um, not whether we want to be or not, because you could do that whole asceticism or whatever it is, whatever that word is, where you just separate yourself from everything. You just listen to the crickets and the wind. And that's all you got is just raindrops, quick crickets and wind. But, you know, if you're going to live amongst the population, you're going to be advertised to, marketed to, um, colors, sounds, um, you know, jingles, which basically is what a ditty is. It's a jingle for a feeling or however I'm feeling. But yeah, I don't, I don't think that's fair. I wouldn't go so far as uh, J. Cole saying, you know, like, hey, whatever I want to use, you should let me use it. Kind of, I feel like that, but I'm not January the 28th. <laughs> Genius. I'm sorry, I snort when I laugh sometimes. He he said that like he was born on February the tenth or something. <laughs> just you know, but I ain't trying to trying to start no beef or nothing like that. I'm just saying he him yeah, January Aquarius is boy. Whew, they look evil. They look evil. Watch them. Watch yourself. Uh, but now, um, uh, yeah. It is. It should be. Uh, I know outside of things just falling into the public domain at some point in time, you know, it should be a little leeway. And I guess if you're creative enough, it is. That's what parody law is like, because they know like we it's been forced on us. I think I made that joke like plot, plot, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. I shouldn't know about that. I was born in 1984, but I do because hey man it's it's the longevity of um uh, advertising and communications and all of this stuff but yeah um it's a ditty in there somewhere in there look for it <laughs> later <laughs>